Good morning! Today we are going to discuss position time graphs and velocity time graphs. So let's commence operations. We're going to start with a position time graph. The y-axis here is the position and the x-axis is time. Let's start off with very simple motion. Let's start off with an object that is stopped at a position of 10 meters. Let's see what that looks like. Not very interesting. It's a line. The slope of that line is zero. So for an object that's stopped, a position time graph is just a line with a slope of zero. Now let's look at an object that's actually moving. We'll give it an initial position of zero, meaning it's going to start at the origin, and we'll give it an initial speed of two meters per second. The acceleration will be zero. So the speed will remain constant. Let's see what that looks like. Well, notice it's a straight line again. And the slope of that line is the actual initial velocity. So keep that in mind today, that the slope on a position time graph is the velocity. Let's see what happens when we increase the speed. Notice that the slope gets steeper. And if we go a little faster, we have a very steep slope. So, on a position time graph, constant velocity is represented by a line. The steeper the slope of the line, the higher the velocity. Now we're going to look at a velocity time graph for the same situations we looked at previously. So for starters, start off with an initial velocity of zero and we'll give it a position of 10 meters and see what that looks like. Well, it's not very interesting. On a velocity time graph, velocity being the y-axis and time being the x-axis, when it stopped, it's just a line across the zero, indicating there is no speed or no velocity. Now let's see what the graph looks like for initial velocity of 2 meters per second. Not very interesting. That graph is indicating that the object's moving at 2 meters per second, and notice it's not changing, and that's because the object is not accelerating. Let's try higher speed. Let's try 10 meters a second. Still a straight line with a slope of zero. So it's interesting. On a velocity time graph, when the velocity is constant, the line's position doesn't change. It's always at the same mark. In this case, 10 meters per second. Let's look at these two graphs at the same time. On a position time graph, this line represents 10 meters per second. The slope of the line is the velocity. On a velocity time graph, this line represents 10 meters per second. Notice the slope is zero. For a velocity time graph, the slope represents the acceleration. So we've looked at constant velocity situations. Now let's look at a situation when the object is actually accelerating. Let's give it an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. And notice, on a position time graph, the line drawn has a curve to it. It's actually a parabola. Let's increase the acceleration and see what that looks like. Well, you guessed it. The curve gets even more steep. Now, if we increase it even more, it gets even steeper, that curve. Now, let's see what this type of motion looks like on a velocity time graph. Here is 2 meters per second per second. As mentioned previously, the slope of this line on a velocity time graph is the acceleration. 
Let's try four meters per second per second. And finally, five meters per second per second. So this is what the graph looks like for objects that are speeding up. Now let's look at the two graphs together at the same time. For an acceleration of 5 meters per second per second, the position time graph is a curve. The velocity time graph is a line. The slope at line is the acceleration. 20 is the rise. The run is 4, 20 divided by 4 is 5 meters per second per second. The final situation I want to look at is an object that is not speeding up but slowing down. So I've given the initial velocity as 20 meters per second and the acceleration is negative 5 meters per second per second. Let's see what that looks like for a position time graph. Notice it's a curve. Once again, it's actually a parabola. Let's see what that looks like for a velocity time graph. Initially at 20 meters per second, and its acceleration is negative 5 meters per second per second. Let's see it again. And it comes to a stop. Now let's look at the two graphs together for a situation when it's slowing down. Initial velocity now is 10, and the acceleration is negative 2.5 meters per second per second. Notice again on the position time graph, you get a curve. On the velocity time graph, you get a line. And the slope of that line, the rise over the run, would be negative 2.5. That slope represents the acceleration for a velocity time graph. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.